What's up, Scalin Spopper here. Welcome to Metabolism Breakdown series, where we talk about conditions, symptoms, and treatment, and help you to better understand how metabolism behaves in scum. Conditions are the ones affecting your body, and symptoms are the consequences of conditions. But symptoms can be treated only through their own conditions. Today we are going to talk about bleeding injury, currently the only condition that you can gain by taking damage. More of them are work in progress and will be implemented in the game later on. It has 4 stages from C1 to C4 and it has the following symptoms. Pain and bleeding. First, a chunk of your health is gonna be taken away when you're gonna take damage and then bleeding comes in action and you're gonna gradually lose health because of the bleeding over time. Let's talk about bleeding injury stages and how they behave in Scum. We're gonna start off with C1 injury because it behaves differently from the others. And to exemplify this, I'm gonna start off by jumping off of this silo. Alright, if we take a look we have a C1 injury. C1 injury doesn't require treatment because it goes automatically into stabilization mode but you will still have bleeding. The progress bar on C1 injury is the only one that it shows you the time until it goes, until stabilization automatically. Of course that you can treat it to preventively stop the bleeding because bear in mind that if you have multiple injuries, your bleeding rate is gonna be higher and you're gonna lose health at a faster pace. If we analyze this, a chunk of your health is taken off and then the bleeding comes in action, losing gradually more health. C2, C3 and C4 injuries behaves differently from C1 injury and to exemplify this, I have in front of me a spike mat on which I'm gonna step. A C3 injury progress bar displays the time that you have until you bleed out rather than displaying the time until you go into stabilization mode as C1 does. The initial chunk taken off from your health plays an important role here because a C2 injury becomes a C3 injury and a C3 injury becomes a C4 bleeding injury and a C4 injury leads to death if you have enough time and enough health to survive this. But I didn't. If you treat an injury, for example, let's treat one injury of C2 over here with this tourniquet. You must be aware of the fact that any movement or any action that you do is gonna turn that injury from a stabilization mode into a bleeding mode as well because any movement will cause your stitches and your bleeding injury to open up again even if you have treated it. I want to mention also the fact that every muscle group can bleed separately and simultaneously in all of bleeding injury stages. If you want to see which part of your body is affected, you have to click on the body part and also you can toggle on and off for organs, muscles and bones to see where is the cause of your injury. I would mention one more thing, if you're healing yourself under stats you're gonna find healing speed and for some various reasons it can be lower than 100%. As a treatment for bleeding injuries you can use any of the medical items like rags, rag strips, dressings, bandages, phoenix. If you want to find out more about healing items I have another video on this playlist called which items heals faster. If you are looking for a server to play on or to learn the game Join me on District 13, Hayes Island. And if you're not watching this video on scum-map.com, I highly encourage you to visit the website. It is the most complete website for scum that I have seen so far. You have all the information in the video description below. Join me in the next videos where we are gonna talk about the rest of the conditions and symptoms and the treatment for them. My name is Popcorn, and as always, stay safe, stay great, and see you in the next one.